So you can see what a day of a pastry student is like. So today I want to try to do something different, which is speaking English for the entire videos. Apparently, it's all the previous videos I spoke Vietnamese because I'm Vietnamese. But I felt like there would be more people from other countries are interested in this topic. So yeah, let's um, put it in English. So now it's 11 a.m. Just went to the gym this morning, took a shower, and I'm just doing a light makeup. Normally, I, I would not even do makeup, but um, today we are filming. So yeah, I just want to look better a little bit in front of the camera. And actually, we are rushing. So my day at school gonna start from 11.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. Yes, 10 hours. And honestly, I feel like the hour is even longer than a, like a full-time shift when you work. My schedule is like full time three days and then I have four days off per week which is actually a lot after school we also have to do assessment every week as well and I also have a part time job to do so yeah the schedule is pretty packed but it's okay we are still adapting okay let's go you <laughs> Here's our student lounge. Some of those chocolate sculptures was displayed over there. Wow! Look at the pastry. Very classic, but still tempting. I have to control myself because we're gonna make a lot of pastry when the class starts. It's, it's gonna taste much better with hazelnut, so try guys. Oatmeal black tea with hazelnut, even hot or cold. Okay. It's amazing! We're heading to level 6 to grab our lunch. Yes. It's lunch time! So we have like one hour for lunch yeah. and to change clothes for the demo and practical class. So what do you have for today? <laughs> I have my sweet and cauliflower fried chicken or pork, I forgot. Wow, yeah, a lot fruit. of protein. Fruit, okay. Yeah, cold for digestion, coffee. It's like full of nutrition, oh my god. And this girl complained that she's gonna gain weight every day. Um, day one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just have this poke bowl that I bought from the supermarket because I'm too lazy to cook. How is it? Good. But yours is much healthier. I'm trying today. I mean, yeah, because they, it's just like, um, they use sushi rice, so yeah, it tastes better. Some of the good Tokyo, um, top rice center. But not sushi hub, right? Try everything with a view. So stay tuned. Drop your comments. Wow. What do you want to know about me, okay? <laughs> Yeah, any questions that you want to know about studying pastry or with school to go for and um, you know any question related to pastry just leave a comment below and we're gonna do a Q&A I guess Is it a stadium? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a stadium okay. What stadium is it? Oh, because the Olympic one or the this, uh, this shop. <laughs> when you forgot your thing, you can come in here. Yeah, and you can buy culinary yeah. stuff there. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can buy them. Is it good? I'm, I'm even planning to go to the library, you know? Should I go to the library? <laughs> oh, we have a pool paper here. And here we are in the library. So actually, I only visit this library when I need to print the documents. 
but they actually have a lot of nice books here and I'm gonna show you some of them. So here is the pastry section. What makes this library different is that besides the home cookbooks, there are a lot of professional pastry books that provide complicated recipes and explanation behind the process of baking pastry. And look at those pastry with five layers and textures. It looks amazing, guys. So here's my toolkit. There's one box, one bag, and one scale. Here's my book. So for today, I'm going to learn how to make the milfoil, the fruit puff pastry, and the parmiers. And those are the tools that I'm going to use for today's lesson. So our teacher is laminating the milk foil dough. There should be at least 10 layers in total between the butter and the dough to make a crunchy texture but not too hard for the milk foil. And we are using the same dough to make fruit puff pastry. So after baking, we are trimming off the excesses part and then we're gonna make three equal rectangles to assemble later. We also put some apricot jam on top to enhance the flavor of the milfoil. So it's not only sweet but it's also a little bit sour from the apricot as well. One of the cool things I learned is to make a piping bag out of baking paper like this. So after melting the fondant icing, I have to make sure the temperature is between 34 to 38 before pouring on the puff pastry. Okay, that's more than enough. More than enough. Yeah. Good. All the way. Nice, good. Oh, no, that's good yeah. too much. And then we're gonna pipe on top the diplomat cream that we made before and start to assemble. And here is my version, so I made smaller ones because I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to eat and share to other friends later. So some of you now might feel familiar. Anyone who have watched the show Culinary World will know what we are doing right now. <laughs> now it's practice time. This is literally made of melted sugar. Sugar will be mainly used for decoration or sometimes to create a crunchy texture. So within a day, we make so many pastries that we couldn't eat them all. And sometimes we have to throw them away, which is so wasteful. So if anyone interested in pick up those pastries for free in Rye, Australia, Sydney, just leave a comment below and I'm gonna reply back to you. Okay. Oh no. You have to cry. To act like you feel guilty. <laughs> Two hours later. 